What is going on everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back to another episode of my path to power. As we open this pack, I wanted to let you guys know if you guys are looking for any MSP or PSN cards, make sure to check out gamekeys.co.uk or if FIFA coins are more your thing, check out justfifacoins.com. You can use the code Japes to get yourself a 5% discount on their instant delivery. And we ended up changing up our stadium right there. So there's something new uh, for those of you guys. I saw a comment yesterday that said, Japes, can you please change up your squad? Or time for a new squad. Can you build a super sweaty squad that we can win every game with? And I saw that comment and I cried a little and I cringed and I felt like we'd been just with this team for a little while and I'm having a really good time. And I think it shows in the gameplay, in the commentary. I think uh, all that stuff, you know, kind of comes together when a squad really, really works out nicely. And there are some things that maybe we can change up with this squad. Get some new players in, but we're coming up against Ibra and Aguero in a 4 triple 2 hybrid side. Uh, Ibra's definitely not on full chem. He's only got the link with Matuidi. You've got Oscar in there on the full chem because of the link with Felipe Luis. But it looked to be a pretty decent 4 triple 2 side. Um, and I knew that, uh, you know, we're getting up to that time where it's the end of Division 2 trying to get our way into Division 1 and it's Big Nick Bentner picking up where he left off and we actually will have the stat totals for some of our attackers coming up after this game so if you guys want to stay tuned a little bit I'll show you guys kind of where the goals are falling for uh, for all these guys in the squad and remember we've been playing mainly in divisions so the goal total totals aren't going to be you know outrageous like when I had Inform Messi on my main account I, I had something like an average of three or four goals a game but that's from playing tournaments and single matches not really using him loads in divisions and how about this big Nick Bender all hail Lord Bender what what a fantastic chip into the far corner, uh, just creating a little bit of free space for himself with that fake shot. Um, I also saw a comment that said, Japes, how would you go about making this squad uh, a little bit cheaper? And I feel like this thing is something I've been, I've touched on uh, quite a bit with this team. Um, you can obviously replace Lom with any other German uh, CDM, you can replace Bender with non-informed Bender. You can put Klaasian Huntelaar up there, who probably is a very similar style player to Nick Bender. And I completely misjudged Aguero's pace right there. I thought for sure he'd either show himself to the end line and right on out of bounds, or I managed to just nick it away from him nice and easy. 2-1 now, 59th minute, slowly moving things forward up to Bender. A little bit of hold-up play. Well, not really hold-up play right there, but combo play. Uh, he steps against the back line, and here he is. He's dropped a little bit deeper to find a little bit of possession, and I actually quite like that. It makes, and when he does that, you can see Mario Gutsa just fills in nicely right up front. A little bit of 1-2 combo play back to Gutsa. I guess it's a 1-2-3 or maybe I don't know. There was a lot. There was a lot of passing in that sequence that ended up with a tap in. And when I can get a tap in, more often than not, I will take it. Um, and that is because I feel like I've fully beaten a team. Or when I get a tap in with this team, I will take it. It's not like I'm playing a two striker set with the Barbo and you know Adrian Ramos or Barbo and Emenike up front and just sprinting by their defense and laying it across the goal for an easy tap. And this is the team has been fully beaten and we are just putting it away into an open goal. The defense has been absolutely ruined and it's actually Philip Lom getting forward right there, which is nice to see getting uh, getting a goal because usually it's Jack Wilshere that's our more attack oriented CDM of the two that we've got. But there's just what there. A wonderful wonderful combo and you can do all sorts of different hybrids just based on those two players defensively uh, offensively you give yourself loads and loads of options because you know Lom you're gonna get great chem if you use Boateng and Alaba behind him and then you can create all sorts of a different hybrid uh, with players up front so you give yourself plenty of different options with those two as a CDM obviously uh, Wilshire you can go with any uh, Arsenal players, you can go with English players, and again, you're going to get really, really nice chemistry. So if you guys have some cool hybrids with those guys, go ahead and shoot me a uh, tweet with your with your links to your squad. Um, at AirJapesFIFA and Bentner cleaning it up with one more lovely chip to give us a 5-1 victory. We now have two games remaining in Division 2 to close out. I think we need... Oh, what was it, four points maybe uh, in two games? Let's see, we're on 19 points. We need 21 points. We need one more win out of the two games or two draws, which 
the draws would just make it oh so difficult but you can see bender nine games 13 goals mario gutz in nine games six goals five assists and just skipping through real quickly you can go back and kind of pause it if you want to check it out but uh, Mesut Ozil, I was a little bit surprised that he's only been involved. Two goals, no assists. Jack Wilshere, four goals, four assists. Really, really nice. But it's Mar It's really the player that makes this team tick is Mario Götze, without question. By far, well, I don't know if I'd say by far, but definitely in my, and without question, I would put him in my top three favorite attacking mids that I've used on FIFA. Now, some of you guys will say, Japes, you're a Bayern fan, of course you're going to say that. And the exciting thing about this game coming up here is that this is my first ever match against Luis Suarez on Ultimate Team. And I have to say, what a handful this player is. It's Lucas Sprint Free. I thought I blocked that, but I did not. Suarez adjusts wonderfully right by the keeper, uh, without question. His finishing is unreal. His movement is good. He is strong. His ball controls seem really good. Uh, and his passing was on point as well. So he's definitely a player that I want to get my hands on and work into, uh, definitely work into some future squads. It's Mario Götze leading the charge, not rushing, rushing anything. Nicholas Benner holding it up. De Bruyne cuts inside, lays it off to Götze. And it's again, more or less a tap in right by the on rushing keeper to bring this game back level at one apiece. Uh, and... Uh, this this is a pretty high scoring match. I'm not gonna lie. There, uh, it was a, it was a challenging game, and it was largely challenging because of Luis Suarez. Uh, and you're gonna see there are a few things that there's some fishy things that happen for both me and for him. So right here, tackle it away. Uh, Suarez is like, yeah, about that. I'll just take that. Don't mind if I do. And crushing finish into the top net, which of course is the best net. And I said, okay. Um, well, that happened. It's Suarez I'm misjudging his pace for me again. Crushing finish into the far corner. Okay, 3-1. Gonna set myself up for some serious problems in the second half. And I felt like I had most of the control of this match. Mesut Ozil hacked down in the box. We're gonna give it to Nick Bender. Best penalty kick taker on our team with only 81, which I thought was pretty surprising. Um that that's the highest rating but this is my new kind of technique a uh, little bit over to the side a little bit up and if they dive it just goes over them like that pretty frustrating if you're the keeper but nonetheless if you're the penalty kick taker it's a very effective penalty kick technique uh it's Bruyne taken down just before halftime as well the game showing me some 45th minute love nick benner this time just to the uh, or same spot um, I thought I went to the other side that time. That's my fault. Same spot. He stood down the middle. You can see it's over just enough to the side that it doesn't count down to the middle. There is a way to block it, and that's you just shuffle your player over um, and don't dive. You just hit up. Um, but then again, if they go down the middle on that, you don't get the chance. So you really have to guess properly. What a perfect cross just after the half. Kind of terrible defending, but it goes over Koscielny's head right to Suarez. And that was ugh, frustration. Lovely header out there, and it's De Bruyne. He's not going to beat anybody for pace, but he does have four-star skills, and he is strong uh, and good on the ball. Very technical player, enjoyable to use. I really want to get my hands on his in-form card. He's going to... I didn't want to force it, so I'm kind of dilly-dallying around, and luckily enough, keep it right there. Inside to Wilshere, find Mario Götze, and I see a little bit of free space, a window, and a crushing finish to the near post to make this game four apiece in the 76th minute. And that is how this one is going to come to a close. So we need a draw or a win in our final match to get to Division One in the path to power, uh, which is going to be ever so challenging. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you all for your support on all of my weekend uploads. We had four uploads yesterday, so be sure to go back and check those out if you missed them. Underdog and made its return. I kind of have an idea of the uh, next team that I'm going to use, so that'll be out uh, probably over the weekend. Anyways, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.